This match was released first for our members on YouTube and Patreon. Becoming a member is the only way to watch all Purpose Wrestling shows presented in full. Thank you to all these YouTube and Patreon members who help us bring Purpose Wrestling to you. To support Purpose Wrestling, become a member at purposewrestling.com forward slash members. Link in the description. Purpose Wrestling, for the love of wrestling. Where? I don't know when, but I promise this isn't over. I have a singles victory over you, Nino, and I want that purpose championship. You haven't seen the last of the vulture yet. I came out and I kept going and I kept going and I kept going and I kept going and I kept going. It's mine now and I'm never letting it go. It is main event time here at Welcome to Paradise as the, this is what I'm about to say, former Purpose Wrestling Champion makes his way to the ring. What's going to be an incredible triple threat match, an incredible three-way to cap off what's been an unforgettable week. With me winning the clock of our second in a very impressive win. I've been nothing but impressive lately here at Purpose Wrestling. I feel like for the past year, yes, I had a little trick. Sky Smithson got me. But hey, there's no shame in losing to someone at that level. But everyone else, everyone else has been falling at my head. And I continue to push myself to the top. After honestly, and I'll just be very open here, feeling like I was at the bottom, when this man right here bested me in an insanction match, and that led to him challenging Nino Bryan to becoming the Purpose Wrestling Champion. A reign that was remarkable in more than one way, small and positive. Maybe the biggest point of his reign was the fact that he was doing his best to avoid facing Nino Bryan. Because he knows that when things are fair, Nino Bryan can beat him. But when an accident happens, and Nino Bryan happens to take too much of a risk, then he's able to exploit that risk to his advantage. He has never pinned, he has never submitted Nino. It was a referee's decision for Nino's safety that cost Nino the Purpose Championship, that gave Michael Oku that title. And what we saw on the last show, if you haven't seen it, you should go back and watch it, was redemption. Also, it was very funny that Leland was tricking Michael and all of us doing this entire time. It seems like as we look back at the journey of Michael Oak in Purpose Wrestling, it's been in troll with Dean O'Brien and his own journey. Are you the only person that has been more involved in with Nino Bryan when it comes to his journey and purpose? It is this man. And the Vulture makes his way to the ring. Mike Crevet made his way to Purpose Wrestling earlier in the year with an impressive bout against JJ Gale. And on that day, at escape, crashing to the rock room, he made his intentions known, not allowing Nino Bryan to claim that he wants to go for the Purpose Championship. He has targeted Nino, he has targeted Nino's family, and he made things personal. Even when finally had a match, he was able to pin Nino Bryan by grabbing the ropes. I'm not gonna leave a comment on that. We'll leave that for another time when he comes to my personal stance on that. But the truth is, that gave him both a win, over Nino Bryant and gave Nino Bryant a reason to want to take things to the next level. And when the playing field was there, Nino Bryant endured everything the Vulture had to give him, was able to dish it back, and he defeated Spike Treve in an incredible no disqualification match that we had here a few months ago. However, Spike Treve dangled the win that he has over Nino Bryant and the Purpose Wrestling Committee 
in the fairway gave him this title shot. So here we are, the two challengers, the Nino Bright, the new and current purpose wrestling champion. I am proud of it. He's about to make his way to the ring. It is only the second time in his long career that Nino Ryan steps Spartans as the Parkless Wrestling Champion, as the man to beat, as the person on top. And you can see in his face, in his eyes, in his smile, that he is right now a completely different man than the one he was when he won that battle the first time. He said it here in the spring, on the microphone, that we saw him grow in this ring, in this space, he went from a child watching the shows to a plucky up-and-comer having his first opportunities, to establishing himself as a main eventer, to being able to call himself a champion. A championship that was stolen from them, he felt like he got it back. And this is his welcoming, this is his upcoming, because there is no doubt right now, Nino Bryant is the champion at Purpose Wrestling. Let you speak, that's how much the crowd love Nina. Nina. Introducing first to my left, he is the 38th best professional wrestler in the world. And of course, indeed, number 38 on PWI 500 this year. Some would say he is the best professional wrestler in the world. Second only to his close personal friend. Is he under the learning tree? Very strange to hear and uh, to hear Bobby not calling the reigning defending purpose wrestling champion. He is livid. He is not okay. Like also taking this personally, targeting Nino Bryan. The target was the Purpose Wrestling Championship, and Nino was the obstacle in his way. Nino bonded Michael Oku either. Okay. Uh, he's he's not okay. He's been on the back foot a lot and he had to overcome so much, but it's beautiful to see Nino Bryan standing in the ring with that title, shoving that title in the face of the two men that have been the biggest struggle ever since Purpose Wrestling started to Nino. And being confident and showing to them, I am not beneath you, I am at your level. And this title even says that I am above you. Oh, David, I just got chills announcing an outfit. Oh, I don't why, because you just suddenly lick the title? I know you want to talk about Bob. We can talk about that in a second, but. Look at Michael's face. He may have just made a mistake. You think so? The first offensive move of this match. Is he going to. Is he going to forfeit this match because of uh, his stomach can't handle it? First defensive move of this match is uh, Spike Trevay's saliva on Michael Oku, apparently. Oh my god. What you were saying, sorry, before uh, you got really interrupted by Spike Trevay's stomach. I got chills, David, announcing Nino Bryant as Purpose Wrestling Champion. 
I'm sure you did. Oh, amazing times. This match is going to be unreal. Three of the best in the country, two of whom are complete rotters. I don't let anyone tell you otherwise. They may be what you say, what are you calling them there, but they are top talent, not just in the country, but in the world. It is a privilege to have the level of talent like Michael Lowe would spike Trevay and Nino Bryan in the ring. If there's anything that Nino has proven, even if the rest of the world don't know yet, is that he is at the level of the top level talent around the world. Proving it time and time again, Nino, he, his record here in purpose is unreal. And one of only a couple of losses, one of which is by referee stoppage. Nino very rarely pinned, never submitted. The heart, there's, there's a reason I dubbed him the heart and soul of purpose wrestling. Trevay so and Oku <laughs> trying to work together to get Nino and deciding. I don't know if working together is the right expression here, Bobby, because that is not what they're doing here. Decided to argue over who gets Nino first. Nino, I knew what I got. <laughs> well, I am good, Nino, yeah, 100%. Nino says, you two boys have that. And we started with a shoving contest in the middle race. Saw that by Spike Trevay to Oku. This is a combination that we're rarely seen. I don't know if we've seen a lot of Michael Oku and Spike Trevay fighting each other. Do they not realise that their main target? Okay. Nino, yeah, let them fight out. Let them duke out. Let them wear each other. Oku's realised. Oku realised Nino was back and he got super kicked. Well, Hurricane Rana by Nino. This match is underway and Nino is starting just on fire. The confidence that Nino Bryan has earned from besting not just one but two of his biggest opponents that he's facing today is unreal. And you can feel that he's feeling it. He is a different wrestler. Playmore despite Trevay that made Trevay DDT Oku. Trevay trying to get control of Nino. Nino not having any of it. Up to the outside on the apron. Nino avoids. We've seen this time and time again. Enzo Guri. Spike rattle. Oku now. Was he looking at the half crab already? Trying to take his advantage when he can. Low bridge by Nino. Oku goes flying. No, it's like Nino knew saw that was coming. It was too early for the half crab. That's a lot of respect that Nino had for Spike. He knows the level of competitor he is. Nino just scouts. Uh, into the roll up, this could be it. Nino trying to defend the title there. BK, suicide dive, wipes out. Oku flying onto the stage. Nino Bryan is on fire, Bobby. And he is in full control. He knows he can beat Spike Trevay. He knows he can beat Michael Oku. And he came into this ring to prove himself and to assert his dominance over them too and the purpose was I'm here for it. You know, looking for the stomp, Trevay moves out of the way, goes low, picks the ankle. Great move by Trevay for a death lock. Great, the incredible technique by Spike Trevay, very knowledgeable in that ring and he just loves the torture that he's able to put on his opponent. Oku shows back, goes to Trevay, just Man, a straight that right hand. Saito suplex, holding on to the submission on Nino still. This ring IQ is enormous, Bobby, and that's the reason why he's one of the top talent in the country. Look at this, just dropping Nino. What a cover. Nino, though, goes, gets back to his feet and gets headbutted for his trouble. Trevay, locking in, look for a suplex. I invite suplex, dumping Nino on his face. Nino wisely rolling to the apron. Giant area of offense there by Spike Trevay. Tornado DDT bouncing off Nino's face by Oku. That triangle drop kick. We heard a certain person's name at the beginning, and we know where Oku got that influence from. No, 100%. It's also uh, very impressive. I was talking about how Nino's dominating this ring, but if there's anything that we've just been able to see just from the uh, early stages of this match, is that all these three wrestlers are more than good enough to be able to take control and dominate two opponents at the same time. And they're able to both be very creative and think on their feet to try and mount defense into offense and find an opportunity and an opening to get a win. Remember, in me, the first person that gets a, a, a decision that involves them, game comes out of here with the first strike championship. You have to be opportunistic and you have to have eyes on the back of your head. Trevay looking for a superplex. I don't think we speak about it enough. Trevay has one of the best right hands in the game. 
He just perfected that punch to an incredible level as Nino comes back into the ring, Bobby. Nino oh, trying to powerball. There it is. The punch. Look how the rock Nino is just with that one punch. Nino fight, finds his feet, jumps up, attacks Oku on the corner, forearm. Now in the electric chair drop position. Can they get work together, Bobby? Can they call each the other on the same page? Dream's day device. Nino reverses into the roller, looking it over. Oku nowhere to be seen, but Trevay manages to kick out. Up kick by Nino. He knew Michael was right there, and he waited for the right opportunity to strike. So smart. Nino is showing to be great wrestling IQ. Nino, Nino. shot for shot on each one of his opponents. Reversal by Trevay launches him at Mike. Oh, Trevay. What a move. Flex on Nino, which launches Oku into a sort of cutter. Pop up, and a power bomb! All to Oku. Nino threw Oku, could he pin both members? That one, I mean, there's been no argument. They managed to kick out, but there'd be no argument that Trevay would be champion if he pinned both of these men. 100% Bobby, and Trevay is showing how dangerous he is. The experience, not just that he's just got, not just by wrestling and being in a ring with top talent in the world, but also long reigning progress champion. Multiple champions in so many promotions and places. He is dangerous and he could 100% just like any of these three men could get out of here with a purpose wrestling championship. The Vulture was looking to fly. Nino cuts him off at the pass, trying to look for a suplex. Spike locking his legs around the ropes, not letting it happen. Oku. Okay. Where's he doing? Springboard. Look for a oh, get power bomb. Nino me. lands on his feet, but the vulture flies. Nino avoids it. Nino just too quick. Oh, <laughs> oh Nino. If that was intentional or not, but he flopped out of the way, avoiding the drop kick from Oku. I think he was. Lord Michael Oku in and got out of the way. Mike Grayson gets the slam on Spike Trevay. Goes for Michael. Oku onto Trevay into the cover. Nino Media retains the title. That, that kind of burning hammer of position into the face buster. Argentine face buster there, just so good by Nino. You know, you're not expecting him to be strong enough to be able to lift people like this, but he is. Nino's been getting some gains recently as well. Oh, 100%. Nino you know, looking to line up for Hurricane Nino. Was that the second time that uh, Michael got DDTs? The count DDT two on Michael right now in this match, I believe so, right? And then he also got planted with uh, that weird cutter variation from Trevay and Nino. Yes. He's been planted on his head a fair few times. Nino up on the shoulders of Trevay. Oku, springboard moonsault, wiping out Nino and Trevay. Second time over, into the moonsault, into the cover. This is over. Once again, Purple Wrestling Champion. Oh, kick out by Nino, the heart and soul proving why he got that nickname. Look at the look on Oku's face, he's distraught. And you saw how Spike tried to break it, but he couldn't. He was just still feeling the effect of that moonsault landing and that uh, the way that his body got yanked around like that. And Michael also knows that this was a big opening and he could just take it from here. We're talking about just capitalizing on the openings you're able to create. He tried to and he couldn't on this instance. I think he's suffering. Uh, he, he, I don't know if he's okay. He got rolled into the stage. He got dropped on his head twice. Uh, he, he's overall sad because he's not the purpose champion right now. He's just living a life. It's, it's a hard life, Bobby. It's a hard life for him. Trevay really benefiting from Nino's heart. Because there's no way that you said Trevay was getting there to break that pin up. I thought you were about to say because there's no way that he can benefit from souls because he doesn't have fear. I mean, Trevay will probably tell you he doesn't. All three men slugging it out in the center of the ring. This triple threat match taking its toll on all the combatants. Nino the first to get back to his feet, allowing him to swing with that back elbow, rocking Trevay's jaw. The thing about uh, three way matches like this is that you just don't get a moment to rest and get your bearings. You don't get a moment to get your breath back because when that happens and you think they have one of your opponents down, the other one is right there to stop your momentum. And also, if you try to take a moment thinking, oh, these two can work on each other, and you roll to the outside, you then risk a quick roll up in and you losing the match. Nino was firing up there and being able to control two opponents, but you can only last so far. Oh, kick it. by Nino Bryan. Avoids the clothesline by Oku. Avoids the second one. Pele looking for Nino, but gets Spike. Pele by Bryan. We've seen those mirror images of those Pele kicks by Oku and Nino before. The line, both of them are parking. Both move out of the way, Nino lands on his feet. 
Swing on the elbows, just four on each other. Second four on Bunch of Ray Loud. Double team. You know, avoids 404 hits Mike Trevay. You know, avoids Claymore takes out Oakley, turns him inside out. Nino in full control, lines up both of these opponents. Hurricane Nino up to the top, looks at the Moonsault, wiping them both out. Into Smart Moonsault press there. Covering both men again. There'll be no argument about the outcome of this match if both men got, got pinned. Very smart of Nino to change around a little bit. He obviously had both of his opponents together. It would be very hard to hit a Hurricane Nino on one of them. You never know the, what could happen if there's a second person there. Maybe you don't get a full rotation. Maybe they're able to block it somehow. So he just takes a little bit more height, gets that mental press on both of his opponents, and tries to win them and get the pin there. Super smart by the champion. Trevay, what an amazing roll through the top. Pendulum drop kick. We've seen that before tonight, David. Yeah, watching his David Francisco takes, I see. The Volker fly stomp to the chest. What is that? Either? On the wooden floor of the library. The impact of the momentum was so hard. He disappeared from the frame there, Bobby. Okay, sends Trevay back to the outside. The audience scattering. They know what's coming. Okay. Trying to fire himself up, trying to fire this audience up. Takes a... We've seen this before. Fosbury flop. Nino out the way. Lights out Trevay though. Nino up to the top. Rolling sense on takes out Oku. Nino Bryant in control. Both of his opponents down. The chosen to pick Spike Trevay. Maybe he Spike's the easier picking right now. Now it begins, Michael is suffering from that crash, the ability, that uh, ascent that he got on the outside. So he may be able to capitalize, get Spike Trevay down, get to pin him while Michael is in too much pain to be able to break that cover. Hey, I'm watching from the outside and Nino's three steps ahead of me. Unbelievable compared Listen, he's got his brothers around, he's got plenty of friends in the rest of it as well. And you're not going to tell me that they don't think a lot about these multi-man matches and how to capitalize on them. I bet the, the three brothers just probably have these matches like this every week. Prancing in the living room. Oku okay, now cutting off Nino for trying to get that super flex. Looking for a power bomb. Nino punching Oku in the face, kicking him as well. Survey biting, biting Nino Bryant on the ear. That'll slow you down, David. What does that feel like? Well, Mike Trevay just said it. Tastes like a champion. Oh my God! Hurricane Nino as he rolls through. Oku leaves the ring smartly. The vulture and he flies. That code breaker. The vulture flies into the center ring. This could be new champion. Nino Bryant just getting that right shoulder. Trevay though, not letting it get to him. Short lariat. That lariat was unbelievable. Package pile driver into the cover. This is it. New champion, new world champion, Trevay. Ends Nino. Oh, I was going to say he ends Nino Bryant. Nino Bryant's championship reign with no defenses. Can you imagine if this gets taken away from Nino again? Spike Trevay capitalizing on it. Nino, very creative. Able to hit Hurricane Nino on Michael Oak was a reversal of that power bomb. But that he went to Spike Trevay seeing the opening and going for him and capitalizing. And now he's first wearing the calls for Nino's family. He's going to be now. Let's see, cut Michael off as well. Oh, Michael's head is rattled and he just got kicked in the face again. Setting Nino up now, looking for another pile driver. Nino then just flops to the floor. Nino's feeling the effects of all that offense that he just did. He may go for park rides. The bike Trevay is. Nino. Nino doing his best to keep his center gravity low and block it. And Michael's back in. He could steal it. Oh, he could steal it. Reversal by Trevay. Both men now looking to see it with quick rollers. Trading in the middle of the ring. Oscar Harding working hard to try and make sure he gets a cover if it gets done. Nino needs to get up and break this series up. Looking rattled, thought he had the championship one. Does he give Oscar the finger there? 
And the crowd Chevy Baroska here. And Michael Didham doesn't like to share the spotlight at all. The vulture flies one more time. But Oki rolls through. Takes the pressure into the half grab. This is it. Oki's got the half grab on. On Spike in the centre of the ring. It's Truck is Spike taps. That is it. Michael Oki is the champion. He doesn't need to beat Nino. Spike Trying to get the throat. He's going to have to bring him down. You know, he's right there. You're looking the wrong way, Nino. Nino you know, spotted Oku. Into the... Hurricane Nino, centre of the ring, rolls through straight into the cover. Brock is being so creative with the way that he first on this menu is going to come for proximity but instead he psyched Michael Oku out forcing to break the half or else that was going to happen and because of that Michael didn't get a chance to defend himself and he got in Hurricane Nino as Phil Bryant puts a big exclamation mark in the start between both Michael Oku and Spike Trevay in front of a slip thing. AJ, give us people on this right here. Like you said, who gives us a mate arguing at the end of the ring? Like you said, if Michael didn't release that half crab, he was going to get crushed by Nino. Maybe thinking he had a way to reverse it, didn't know what was coming. Hurricane Nino, center of the ring. That, that float for double double. Nino covers him within a split second of the hurricane hit him. By the way, feeling the effect of the half crab. Michael is fulfilling the effective things up on his head, what, four times in this match? I think he ended up in five. I've never seen that video of the dogs that like growl when there's something in between them, but then as soon as that thing gets pulled away, they're just calm. Oh, yeah. That's what I'm seeing right now with these two. Oh, I was seeing the Spider-Man video, except for the two different. This, this is the story right here. And as much as he breaks Michael Oakley's heart and his small little fragile ego, he couldn't think about Nino Bryan. He's obsessed about taking him down. He has to make his reign about Nino Bryan. And this is the result. What in a row? Michael Oku gets defeated by Nino Bryan, who is Twelve and Troy on top of the mountain. Here at Purpose Wrestling, it's a new opera. It's the end. Him. And he's up here for the incredible future of Nino Bryan and Purpose Wrestling. Welcome to Guys, Bobby. You get it now. Today was different. Today, I come in with a new attitude, a new perspective, and my championship again. Today, I came in the most confident I've ever felt. Because I went up against Michael Oku and Spike Treve, the two men that want to see me fail the most, the two men that put the most hurdles in my way. But what happened? I walked out with the belt. I got, I got to look at them both in the eye, one by one, with their prize on my shoulder. <laughs> it was a sweet feeling. And then I go in and beat them. I go in, I knew what was coming. I know what I'm expecting now with these two. And I know my, my way to navigate it. I came in confident, I came out with the belt. <laughs> now, I'm the champion. I'm the man. Who's next? Oh, God, say about that! You listen to me, Purpose Wrestling. You listen to me, British Wrestling. You listen to me, Worldwide Wrestling. You will remember me. I have come to Purpose Wrestling and I came here to increase my name, to walk all over Nino Bryant, to walk all over the, the roster of Purpose Wrestling. And I've been foiled again and again and again. And I will not have it. Michael Ogu, you and your... 38 rating, you can stick that with the sun don't shine. And Nino, you weren't even on that rating. I can't even remember mine, but at least I was on it. I am sick to death of this industry not taking the vulture seriously. Somebody in this industry, a person who taught me, a man named Eddie Dennis once told me, well he actually didn't say this to me, he said it behind my back, that the vulture Spike Trevay was a little bit like the Voldemort of British wrestling. But the, but the difference is, 
I didn't have to split my soul into however many pieces in order to become the worst possible version of me. I came into this industry and I sold my soul to the devil. And you know what happened? The man before you stands here in his pants, shameless and brave. Braver than any one of you could ever imagine. And my journey is not over. In January, this will be my ninth year in this industry. And I have lost everything again and again and again. But I've put too much into it to walk away now. And I swear to God, if it is the last thing I do, if you have to pry, if you have to pry a legacy from my cold, dead hands, you will remember me. I'm not gonna adhere to any of your little builds to get people to come and watch. I think it's quite clear, I don't really care. I've been told, when I beat Jordan, I'm next in line for a title shot. Nino, mate, you just beat two of the best wrestlers in the country. El Nino, the boy. Nino, you, my friend, are a boy. I, mate, am a killer. I'm challenging you, and I'm here to give you an option. I'm taking that, so that option's gone. The second option you got, you make this any harder for me than it needs to be. Boy, I'll end your career before it even starts.
you for watching Purpose Wrestling. Don't miss any of the great pro wrestling action live in Wimbledon. Join us at the Merton Art Space. All details for tickets in the description below. Make sure you subscribe to the Purpose Wrestling YouTube channel for more great matches. Thank you for watching and see you next time.